So I'm just start off just by asking you about the, the fitness of the squad after Tuesday night's game against Barnsley. How's everyone looking? Is everyone fit and healthy? Well, they look good. I mean, it, it came really quick yesterday. We, we're going to see today, but but yesterday it was one of those days that is not not even a couple of days after the game, you know, because the game was late at night. So uh, we'll see today, but they should be okay. Uh, the game was very demanding in a physical way. That, that, that was the record of running in in this uh, season. Uh, both teams, they run a lot. And so uh, it was very demanding. And also for us, because of the results, we were, we were chasing the results. And uh, so basically uh, yesterday and today we'll do just a little bit, just a little refreshing and uh, monitoring also individual situation and state of the guys and to make sure that that we are we are in a good shape uh, tomorrow for the kickoff is it nice to have another home game so quickly obviously you were happy with the comeback but it yeah. was a frustrating result wasn't it yeah it was fr it was both of course uh, and it's good to have a game uh, again at home then uh, especially that you don't have to travel uh, and you can use a little bit more time to refresh and rest and all that and to prepare for the game. But it's good to have a home game, of course it is. It's always nice to play home. Charlton obviously played 24 hours later than us on Wednesday. They've also got a number of injuries in their squad. That's been well documented by their manager, Lee Bowyer, Slavin. How much of an impact do you expect that to have on the game on Saturday? Well, it should uh, have a little bit... Uh, be fair if you have injuries, you know, uh, from your good players or regulars. That's in one hand, it's 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 it weakens you, you know. But in the other hand, I've seen so many times a guy who who got their chance and they want to prove themselves and they want to grab their chance and all that. So uh, it is very dangerous. So it's a bit of a both, you know. But uh, if and he said that they, they have few injuries, so it's not good for them, definitely. But saying that, they have a good team. Uh, they, they are playing good. They are, they, they are enjoying it. They don't go like, oh, we have a game and all that. No, they are enjoying it because, which is almost, it's kind of a regular case when, the, when for, for the teams that have been promoted. No, and especially if they start good, then then they they it's like a dream for them. You know, they play and they are so motivated and high up and everything, spirit and team spirit and all that. They are fighting for each other, but they also play good football. So uh, what I'm saying, they are a very good team and they are running uh, with high intensity and they it's going well for them. So it gave them again extra motivation and. Uh, Confidence and, as I said, put it all together. Uh, we are we are playing against good team. Another demanding game tomorrow, of course. Scoring plenty of goals at the moment, Slaven, especially at home as well. Just how much confidence do you feel as though your side have got at the Hawthorns? We have confidence, and we feel the confidence, and we feel the uh, no matter what can happen, or, or or no matter what happens, if the team is let's say it has spells that is better than you or they score goal, we are not shaken, we are not that we are losing the confidence on the trust, but 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 uh, and, and it's good to have it, you know, but but we have to mi to minimize the the situations when we are too down because normally when you are too down home or away you you have a like a unbelievable big task to do to come back. And just finally, Slavin, just on the injuries that we've got at the moment, Kieran Gibbs, Matty Phillips and Ken Zahor, what's the, the latest on that trio? Uh, Gibbs is out, still for another, I don't know, it's not major, but it's it's probably another couple of weeks until he's back like in, in the team, on the pitch and everything. Mm, Kenneth and Matt, they, they trained yesterday and I'm expecting from them to to train today and uh, uh, to be in, in the contest for the squad. That's going to be the squad for tomorrow.